Hello, my name is Beanie Kelly. I'm the associate pastor at Shady Grove United Methodist Church Short Pump and welcome to our Monday daily message. I'm so glad you joined us today. How many of you ever have given or eaten these? The, these sweetheart little candies were started uh, 120 years ago. Sweethearts, little kind of chalky, chalky flavored candy um, with different flavors like wintergreen and banana, um, cherry. And then they had messages. What made them distinct is the messages that are on them. Hug me, love me, kiss me. Now, more modernly, tweet me. I think whenever I have eaten one of those, I don't just pop them in my mouth. I look at the message. The fun in eating them is, is the message, right? This month, February, we consider the month of love where we talk about love show love share love of course we're doing that throughout the year but february tends to be the month where we just talk about that so when we think of love we know that that god loved us first right and god sends messages of love all the time daily messages of love not on a little candy heart, but, but throughout, throughout different ways. For example, snow. This, this time where it's this hushed silence in which we can relax and play is, is a message of love. A baby's laugh, a dog rolling around playing. All different types of love and we also know that the Bible sends messages of love. Depending upon the translation, love is used over 500 times throughout the Bible. But it's not just the word, it's the concepts, it's the stories that tell us about that love. God continued to try to reach his people because he loved them and he loves us. I think one of the symbols that stands out most to me for love is the cross. It's the cross and, and we wear that and we put that on our churches and we have earrings of it and pictures of it to remind us of what love really is. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, his only son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him might have everlasting life. Not perish, but have everlasting life. That certainly is a message of love, the ultimate love. God also, through Jesus, tells us that we are to love one another. Love one another as we love ourselves, taking care of ourselves, this masterpiece that God has created. And we are to love our even our enemies. We are to love. God sends messages of love through a call from a friend, a prayer. You know, we can feel prayers. We can feel prayers when people are praying for us. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. A message of sunrise, that each day is a new possibility, a possibility of resurrection and new opportunities. God is sending messages of love all the time. Uh, they may not come in a little box like this, but I encourage you to savor the messages. Notice the messages. You know, sometimes when we eat these little sweethearts, we might show them to somebody and say, oh, look, this one says this. 
Take time to share the message that God gives you. Those messages of love that God gives you, share them with somebody else. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for talking to us in different ways. Thank you for sending your son Jesus as the greatest message of all of love. We love you, Lord. Help us to show it. Amen.